Welcome to Oil & Gas Investor Headlines for the Week, ending in July 14th. I'm Kate Clark. Halcon Resources continues to pivot toward the Delaware Basin, with $1.4 billion sale of its operated assets in the Williston Basin. Halcon sold the assets to an affiliate of Bruin EMP Partners, a portfolio company of Arclight Capital Partners. CEO Floyd Wilson said the sale places the company's focus solely on the Delaware, where it has staked out more than 41,000 net acres through the acquisitions that have closed or been announced this year. In other A&D news, Apache Corporation is leaving Canada through three separate transactions worth about $713 million. The company is selling its Western Canadian assets with an average production of about 300 million cubic feet of gas equivalent per day. Some of the sale proceeds are likely to be funneled into the Permian Basin and Alpine High as a Houston-based Apache shifts its spending to Texas. In global news, is it time for OPEC and U.S. shell producers to pump the brakes? One bank issued a dire warning concerning oil prices. Goldman Sachs analysts reported that despite a large weekly drop in crude inventories, banks continue to mark down oil prices. The bank said oil prices are likely to continue to fall and could dip below $40 a barrel unless there is a sharp cut by OPEC and a visible slowdown in the U.S. shale activity. And finally, the same team that developed a Delaware Basin position into an $855 million cash machine has returned. Silverback Exploration currently holds a half a billion dollar equity commitment, but no word on where it will focus. The new company said it has secured an initial equity commitment of $500 million from NCAP Investments, which backed its predecessor. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Oil & Gas Investor Headlines. For more on these and other stories, head on over to oilandgasinvestor.com. See you next week. To stay up to date on the most recent Heart Energy videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here.